Hello and welcome back to the most drawn out and excessive Lego build video series anyone has ever bothered to attempt. I'm Better Area Ben for Pixel Spank and we're still on the Millennium Falcon. I left myself this last time to, and I've got to kind of figure out where I am with it. Fortunately though I left it on the exact posi position that I'm on because I sat down and I, I had nothing in my mind. Let's go straight in. Okay, no, I've left it in the wrong position. I've already done that, you idiot boy. In fact, I've done that whole line, so that's... Next stage, one of these. Good, All right, we're back in it. I knew I'd do that to myself. Just make it slightly easy, but not too easy. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. I've got to get a quick turnaround on this video. I, I messed up. I'm recording this on the Friday with hopes to release it on the Tuesday, which may not sound like a lot because it's not, it's not that heavy a turnaround, but I record these in 4K, which means they look quite good if you have that kind of technology, but the file sizes are quite large and I don't like to compress them because what's the point in recording in high quality and then compressing it? You lose it all, especially once YouTube takes its cut. So it means there's a rather large file to upload at the end. The last one I did was like 100 gigabytes, it was ludicrous. It took two days. Uh, yep. Going at a rate of knots here. Am I going to keep talking about Avengers Infinity War this time? Yeah, probably. I've seen it twice now. I intend to see it again tonight. I would have seen it more. I'm just, I'm a busy man. Hopefully it's going to be on for goddamn ages as well, because I... I, I intend to see it many more times. It's very good, it's very good. So I'm thinking Thor has gain, is gaining the Odin force slowly, but he doesn't realize it. He, he got depressed after Ragnarok, so he kind of lost his connection and his anger a bit. And then getting beaten by Thanos has sort of reignited it. And he, he thinks that Stormbreaker is what's given him this newfound power, but actually, I suspect it to be the Odin Force. Which, if you're not familiar from the comics, is what, it's what, it's the difference between Odin and Thor. Thor's for, for, a god; he's strong, yeah. Odin's like he's a proper god, like a a make planets sort of god, you know. Uh, maybe not bring people back from death, but I'm pretty sure he could do that if he wanted. It's like a, a full on hefty amount of magic. But, um, oh, I was going to say it doesn't exist. It's literally right in front of me. It couldn't have been closer. So I think Thor's gaining the Odin force and he'll eventually use that to rebuild Asgard. Possibly in space. Maybe on the moon. I could see that. I feel like he might want it close to Earth. And maybe he might build it on Earth. I could half see that as well. That'd be kind of cool. So what he did in the comics, he re rebuilt Asgard in Oklahoma. In I think it was called Br Bronxton or something like that. It, it wasn't somewhere I'd heard of. What do I need here? One of you. And some little, little bits here. Perfect. So I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Borderlands the pre-sequel recently. So I really fancied playing some Borderlands. I kind of wanted to play Borderlands One, but I don't have it on Steam. I have it on, I want to say PS3, but I, I have, it, I do have it on PC on disc though. But I feel like that would be a real pain in the ass to find and make work and and that. And I don't have any of the DLC on 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 the on the PC version, so. I'd kind of be missing out there because Borderlands 1, the DLC, was probably the best bit. Particularly the General Nox's armory. But I think all of it was pretty fun. Right, that's good. Now build some kind of grabby looking things. So I, Borderlands 1 was what I wanted, but it wasn't an option. Borderlands 2, while it is the, it's the biggest of all of them, it's got the most going on. Uh, you know, m most enemies. It's, 
it's prob probably is the best one realistically i don't really like any of the characters that much like the the four initial ones that came out with i didn't particularly like i got on best with the one that throws the turret out i want to call him roland but i'm not convinced that's his actual name i think that no that was the name of the one from the first one wasn't it but either way the, i i was i was never that fond of any of the characters and the it's got kind of a slow start to it but the, the most heinous part of it is the ultimate vault hunter mode which is like the the kind of end game if you will the final new game plus you unlock it's too damn hard you get the enemies regen health which i don't mind but for some reason they decided that you had to use slag weapons on everything slag was like the new element they brought in that all it does is a slag weapon has a chance to slag an enemy slagged enemies take more damage from other sources possibly not including slag which makes loads of sense i suppose for multiplayer because you'd have like someone on the team to slag them and then everyone else would do more damage it's crap for single player because it just means it's like oh so no I've, I've i've now locked into this strategy and most of the rest of the game it's like no, no nothing else will work now you just gotta just gotta slag everything so that's that's all you can do so that was horse shit so i'm so i'm a bit bitter about that and also the the kind of the drop rates in that game hate me to the point where i i not that long ago played through all of borderlands 2 with uh with the necromancer gage who i greatly liked I've, i i enjoyed her immensely as a character particularly i <laughs> I played through the whole game, like the first time round, without touching one of her three skill trees because it sounded confusing to me. And then like at the start of the, the, my next playthrough, I, I just thought, I'll try this other skill tree just in case. And I was like, oh, well, this is, this, is the, this, is, this is her thing. You're supposed to, this is the skill tree you're meant to use. It's incredible. It's called Anarchy and it's, well, it really lives up to his name. Ba basically, the first thing you do is you, you take the skill anarchy and it means you can't what am i doing i'm not adding that yet and if, if memory serves what it meant was every i think it was every, every time you shot your weapon or killed an enemy or something like that you'd gain a stack of an anarchy and each stack would uh it would increase your damage but decrease your accurate accuracy to the point where like when it was up really high you'd, you'd have a shotgun because it could go ludicrously up and you you could shoot and there could be an enemy dead in front of you and your shots would just go in every direction but which sounds terrible i know but it, it added in with the fact she had a lot of skills that would make it so her bullet w would ricochet and then hit towards an enemy and all stuff like that so it, it, it kind of balanced itself out in the end but it just it made for some crazy things so I, you know i I, I liked her, but then you, you get to ultimate vault hunter mode. It's like, no, and you can't. One, you can't really play it on its own very well. And I, I, I never got any good drops. That's, that's what I was saying. I played through the whole thing with her, and I got may, maybe... Honestly, I don't know if I got like any legendaries. There's a tier above legendary called Perlescent. I think I don't think I ever got any of them. In my entire Borderlands career, I think... I think I've got maybe in total like four legendaries, like four like decent drops like that. Point being, none of those, none of those were an option. So I was playing the pre sequel, which is actually my favourite. I like mo I liked all the characters in that, or at least the ones I've played. text message from my bank saying a large sum of money had just been moved around it's always alarming isn't it yeah they um yeah pre-sequel so I, I started off by playing as uh again i don't know any of their names but he was the one that has the turrets but they're not turrets now they're drones that fly about saint and wolf enforcer that was his that's what he was but was it what was his name I want to call him Axton, which I'm pretty sure was actually the one from Borderlands 2. I couldn't remember a minute ago. Harvey? No. I keep wanting to add this onto here, but I'm not supposed to. It's because I'm not really reading it. I'm just looking at the pictures. Which is a dangerous method to use. Where's the guide? Yep, I 
this is the correct one. It's one of these. So I played through him. I got him up to max level. Really enjoyed it. I've made, I've made you know a decently strong character build. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I like this. Never got any legendary class mods with him. Never got any good class mods, which is, which is bullshit. I didn't, I didn't like. I didn't try and farm any, but still, I, I would have liked one. But I did get a legendary class mod for another character. So I was like, well, I almost have to play it now after being gifted this. Which is what I did. I, I finished the game with him and then started playing with, uh, with the other girl, the Lawbringer, Nisha. He's actually quite different because I normally, I normally aim for a class where when you're in combat, you activate the class skill and that, that, that ability is with you the whole of that combat encounter. So like with the drones, I'd have it set up so that they would be alive and doing a lot of work for the whole of the time. Whereas hers is, is a different story altogether and I'm, I'm still getting used to that. And then I realized why I really fancied playing Borderlands. It's because I've, I've been watching, uh, well, I've been following on Twitter, Destiny is just about to have its next expansion out. Well, it's already out now, Warpath. And I realized, oh, well, Des Destiny and Borderlands Pretty much, that they are the same game in many respects, or at least they're the, they're the same they're the same sides of uh, of a coin, aren't they? Where are you? There you are. So that that came out, and I've just I've had that re-downloaded, so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go and play that once I've finished building this monstrosity. One of you. One of you. Little hubcaps. Go on there. Good. All right, these are all meant to be roughly the same length, which they, they genuinely are. So good on me. I'm a genius. I meant that. It's a leg, isn't it? What I'm building is a leg here. Why am I building a leg? Don't, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't I put all the legs on? <laughs> don't question it. The important thing is to get it the right way up. So that's the kind of foot that goes forwards and that goes there. And that's the right way up. Right, let's put it on the beast. It's still in a state where it can be turned upside down. So this has got to go up to the front here, foot forward, into a slot I presume is in there. I can't actually see it. Okay. Right, it's got a whole other foot now, so it's even more stable, despite the fact that it was entirely stable before, so don't question it, they know, they know best, they know what they're doing, they've been building these for thousands of years, that's how empires grow, I'm now making some benches, <gasps> sticker placement, is it a bench, I think it's an overhead locker actually. So yeah, playing a lot of Borderlands too. What I quite like about it is it it takes very little uh, energy, I suppose, to play it. It's not it's not that hard. You don't really have to think too much. It's pretty fun, and it's it rewards you enough consistently that you that you don't. Re it's not um, never feels like a chore, you know. And it's quite hard to stop playing as well. The only thing is, I I would kind of like it if I could if I could just flip a switch and it was like double the loot, not well not double in like twice as much, but just make everything a bit better, which I know would be kind of a hollow change, but at the same time, it's like I'm I'm sick of all these goddamn common weapons. Give me something decent. So I've made three of these little things, and I've got to put stickers on all of them. I feel like I'm looking at the thing here, and there's. Not enough, unless I turn it this way, and there clearly is enough. Okay, you win this round. It's impossible to, to talk while trying to put a sticker on. It will, it will only end in heartache. It's on a curved surface, making it particularly difficult. Right. Easy now, easy. Okay. 
One down. What I like about these stickers is they're not, they're not what I would call a perfect fit, meaning there's some tolerance for cock-ups in there, which is, is useful for me as I require a certain amount of cock tolerance. Weather's all over the place at the minute. It was incredibly hot at the start of this week, like, like ridiculously hot. And then it's been it's been sunny every day since, but the temperature temperature's been going down, which means I have no idea what to wear in the morning. I I, I start out with like shorts and a t-shirt, and it gets around midday, and I'm like, I'm secretly freezing, but I can see it's really sunny out. So it. it so it gives you that dilemma of, I, uh, what do I do? Do I go and put a jumper on? But then I'll be too hot in seconds. All right, where do these actually go though? Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. All right. That, yep, that's probably correct. Um, right. There's a lot of little bits left still. I, I'm not even sure what bag I'm on at this point. Is it still bag free? That was an ambitious series of events, trying to do one bag per episode. I might. What I might do is I, I might try and do one, just do one bag per episode and then finish each bag off screen afterwards. Although, I don't know, I kind of like the idea of doing the whole thing on cameras. There's an odd belligerence to that isn't there like when you when you f follow people on twitter who are streamers but you don't you don't watch streams it's not how you know them you, you what you know is like they have their job and then they have their little side hustle which is the streaming but you don't you don't follow that because you're an adult and you don't have that kind of time in your life and so you, you'll see them post that oh ju just finished a 12 hour stream and you think is that is that hard work? Did you? What was that? I mean, presume you made a lot of money doing that. Twelve hours. Was it all good? Was it all worth it? Let's chuck that in there. What the hell is that? I've just made. <laughs> it's like a kind of a, a shitty goalpost. I could feel something on my foot. It was just a wire, but there was a chance that it was Aragog or some nonsense. Um, right. So this thing goes over here. Does it clip on? I think it clips on. Okay, right, so that's there. No no idea what that is. Oh, there's another thing. I, I've made an error. This, this page I'm looking at describes putting things on the main frame. I, I didn't look at this section on the left which tells me what pieces you need and there's about about 20 pieces and they're all tiny. I put these two little bricks together and I'm, I know at some point I'm gonna have to fix my error. But fortunately, every time I've needed one of these little bricks, I've been able to uh, find a replacement. Let's see, so that goes like that. Put a stud in here. I'm in a very lazy state with, uh, with gaming at the minute where I, I'm I'm working quite hard, so when I when I play games at the minute, I I don't want anything that will require a lot of my attention. And I I quite like watching YouTube at the same time, so I I also specifically don't want anything where I'll have to one learn anything too new and difficult, and quite honestly, listen with sound on, which may sound you know odd, but it means I don't want to play anything that has like a strong narrative. The one that comes to mind most is uh, is Tomb Raider, because that's been on my to playlist for ages. If I click that on there, there we go. That's how you get it off. I couldn't remember how to use the brick separator then for a minute. I I knew you clip it on and then something, but I couldn't remember what the something bit was. All right, okay. So now this bit goes over here. Bridges this little gap. I'm aware you can't see any of this, but I don't really want to do anything about that. 
And I think that's all the bits. Yeah, probably. What fresh hell have I got here? Yeah, making my way up in the world. I'm hoping the new Destiny expansion will be pretty good. What I have noticed is they, they keep plugging about like other new changes they're making. I, I can't remember what it was. They kept I kept seeing it come up on Twitter. It was it was like the not the powerful update, but like the fast or something. It was it was something about making making everything feel girthier, for want of a better word. Imbued with girth. Alright, this this big square that I've put on here is attached by a single piece. And it means it's barely attached is what that means. Right, I need a load of these little clips. Two, four, six. I've got a week off work coming up, so hopefully I'll have... Uh, which is, which is no, what I normally do there is I, I, I'm really aggressively on top of making new videos. So I make, make fucking loads, like... Almost months worth. Trace it. Trace it now. Okay, I've got. I've. I haven't lost that. I know. I know exactly where that is. Not like the last time I dropped something and it disappeared off the face of the fucking planet. Where does this go? It goes there. Yeah. So I'm going. I'm going to get ahead of making videos. This is really annoying. This, these all go on at like weird angles. And I know I'm getting them wrong, but it's almost impossible to see in like the, the, the way they're pictured here, which is correct and which isn't. And it breaks my heart. Finished playing Oracle of Ages the, uh, the other day, yesterday, I think. There's still about three or four more videos of that to come out, including one today. It always throws me off when I have a day off work and a video comes out. I always think I fucked up somehow. Um, that goes here. Oh, there's another grate to put on as well. Ah, now there's now there's two bits holding this in place. That's that's way more secure already. It's like a password with upper and lower case, just substantially more secure. Let's see. That goes in there. Grey wedge that up. I can tell once I, I put a few more pieces on this, it'll become clear what I've made, but currently I have no clue. Yeah, so I finished Oracle of Ages, so I've got to figure out what my next Zelda is to play. Now, there's a definite logic to doing Oracle of Seasons straight away, because I've I've unlocked like the new the new game plus, if you will, in that. But also, part of me wants to wait. I'm I'm trying to get into a zen of doing like 2D, 3D. The benefit there, the the 3D games, in my opinion, are longer than that they are, but they're a lot more straightforward in knowing what to do. I feel like the 2D ones can be a lot more obtuse. I'm tempted to do something dumb like Twilight Princess or, or weirdly Skyward Sword. I would have to buy, but well, no, I've got Skyward Sword, but I'd, I'd probably have to buy Twilight Princess because I'd do the HD one. I wouldn't do the standard version. <gasps> there is a misprint in this. It should say one, and there's just a weird squiggly line. It looks a bit like the fish that Jesus' followers used to identify themselves with. Yeah, Christians. I don't know why I said Jesus' followers. That seems an odd way to put it. Seemed like the way you'd put it if you if you were a time traveller and you accidentally revealed yourself. No, in fact, no, it's if you were an immortal and you accidentally, you know, you, you forgot that not everyone was, was there. Okay, so it's describing attaching these two pieces together in a method that I can't exactly read. I think, oh, yep, yeah, and I just broke that off. I think they're not actually attached is what's throwing me off. They're kind of a long pipe between these two. I knew this would happen. You you put these kind of clips in place, and 
all they are is like points for you to attach like handrails to normally. But it's always like, a few steps later that you actually do the handrail attaching bit and it, it's confusing. This is clearly a, a jackhammer. That'd be a good name, wouldn't it? Jack Hammer. You'd, you'd trust a man named Jack Hammer to save your daughter. Yes, he would bang her also, but, you know, she'd be saved from a certain point of view. How does it fit in here, though? It doesn't it seem to want to fit. I feel like I'm making a tall shelf, if anything. It still doesn't really look like anything. And that goes on there. That goes on there. One day I, I would quite like it if uh, if somewhere on the, on like an odd video I just got accused of of some kind of weird new age insult like transphobia or something like that just out of nowhere for no reason and then I look back on it and think Jesus Christ what was I thinking here's a little secret I'm going to let you in on now I, I've started giving away free games in videos but I never publicise it I just every now and again I'll just throw it out, throw it out as like oh yeah it'll quite often be related to the game I'm playing like, uh, I don't know, I did it for Steam World Dig too when I was playing that. I was like, yeah, it's, uh, it's great. If you want to play this game, here's a code. <laughs> don't I don't publicize it at all, so it won't, won't drive me any traffic whatsoever. But it, it may give, you know, one person, well, it will only give one person some enjoyment. And then probably two or three more people who attempt the code and it doesn't work, an annoyance. That's what I live for. Okay, yeah. Vigorously rubbing my thigh for 30 minutes. Right, I've kind of been looking at four pictures at once to put all these pieces in, so I'm convinced I've forgotten something. But I'm also not really on ball on the ball enough to do anything about it. So this goes over here somewhere. Um far end lines up with that. Is that right? No, it leaves a gap. That was a near miss. Does it leave a gap or is it is it tight? It's tight. Very tight. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, that just that, that nearly hit me in the eye. That's fine, then that will go right back on once I figure out where it came from. There-ish. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's not, that's no longer how it's supposed to be, but that's, that's fine, I can, I can fix that in post. Oh, it's a siren I could hear. I, could, I thought, I could hear something in the background. It sounded like a, a flock of off-key ducks flying by. I was like, that's, that's not right for this time of year. Turned out to be a siren from a distance. Which is unusual, because where I live, it's sort of in the nowhere between two like, districts, essentially. So you, you wouldn't normally get anything traveling between them for logistical reasons. Also means my local police station is like thirty odd miles away. It's fucking. It's ridiculous. There are police. There are loads of police stations nearer, but the one that covers me is just miles away. Um, which is good if I want to commit a crime. Not so good if if a crime is committed against me. So, so, you know, there's, there's pros and cons to it. I'm making the same thing as I just made, aren't I? No, it's entirely different. Looking ahead it becomes entirely different, but it starts basically the same. Like all Lego. One piece adding to another piece. I went through a, a period of watching a lot of abridged at, like anime shows recently. Um, kind of by accident. I watched, 
I've rewatched all of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, which is fantastic. It's it's ridiculously good to the point where uh, it's substantially better than the actual anime. I don't know how he does it. Little Karibo, I think his name is English. He's very talented. The writing is excellent. The fact that he does all the voices, the consistency. And he, he does something that no other abridged anime, except maybe Team Four Star, has figured out, is that he actually makes it short. To start off with, the episodes used to be like five minutes long. Then he may be up to his game to ten minutes. I started watching the Sword Art Online one on on someone's recommendation because they, they said it was good. So I thought, oh, fine, yeah, I'll give it a try. And yeah, it was good. But they, they made the error, error of their method was to abridge one episode at a time. If you're not aware what an abridged series is, you, you basically take an anime, you redub the voices with whatever you want. And the goal is to try and cut down the series and make it much shorter, normally by adding comedy and sort of, you know, clever writing tricks, that sort of thing. But this, this all that online one I've been watching, they, they do one episode at a time and they cut it down from, I don't know, 22 minutes, an anime episode, that sounds about right, isn't it? Two minutes of that's intro. There's normally about a bit of recap. So each episode is probably only 18, 19 minutes long anyway. And they abridge it to like 14 or 15 minutes, roughly, which is no shorter. They, they, they're not really cutting any content out. I've skipped ahead a bit and now I've got to put on a load of clips, including the one I definitely dropped 10 minutes ago. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to ramble forever. I, I have got a timer going, so eventually this video will end. I don't know when. I know, well, no, I, I do know roughly. I, I need that clip. Believe it or not, I, I didn't want to get up too much to reach that because I'm wired in. I picked up an old belt that was on the floor and kind of lassoed it. And it worked impeccably. It was really impressive. The belt itself is a horrendous belt and I'll tell you for why. This is it, it's filthy, apart from anything else. This is it, it's, uh, it's, like just, it's fabric. The rings through are, are metal rings, that's fine. It's got, Got a typical belt fastening to it. So when you when you put um you can you can probably already see the issue. When you put it through and tighten it up, that's how it goes. That's fine. That's how a belt should work. You should hold your trousers up, you know. That's that's what a belt is for. But because it's fabric, this bit can slide in and out, so it just undoes itself. It doesn't hold itself up whatsoever. It the one job of a belt it cannot do due to its just awful design and it bugs me because it's got some designer's name on it I, I don't even know where it came from I think someone else owned it they realized it was a terrible belt so they just left it somewhere I, I needed a belt one day so I picked it up and started using it then discovered it was a terrible belt and so the saga continues Right, now some handlebars. It's so good. Now that now that Affinity War is out, I feel we're like officially in the in the summer blockbuster movie season, so they're they're sort of all starting to come out of the woodwork. I've messed this up. These are supposed to be handcuffed together. Han cuffed. Um so we got we had Avengers. I think the next one out is uh Deadpool. I think he's out like midweek or something. It's 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 very soon. I know that. So I've got that coming out. I just remembered I was actually talking about Sword Art Online in a bridge series. So I'm going to go back to that because that that's got more to say about that. There's no point in talking about films that are coming out. Um, yeah, yeah. So so I've been watching a lot of that, and yeah, I, I watched it all. And, and like all the bridge series, they start strong and it's, it's like, you're looking at the dates on YouTube and it's like, this, this one came out a year ago, fine. Episode two came out 11 months ago. That's how many months in a year, 12. 
So you're thinking, okay, so they, they had a good process. They're doing one a year. You know, they, they knew what, uh, one a month. They knew what they were doing. And then you get to like, I, I watched like episode 10 or whatever it was. It was, it was, uh, it was the first episode of the, like the second part of the series, the, the Alfheim online arc, if you're familiar. Something doesn't work about this. That's what it is. These need to be parallel. I got to that and it, it finished and like the next episode didn't come up. I was like, oh, uh-oh. Have I already caught up with this series? Like 10 episodes in. I, f I thought this was going to be me for the next few weeks at least. <laughs> and yeah, as it as it turned out, they, uh, they, they hadn't made that many. And it was like, oh, Christ. Oh, crap. I've got to wait ages now for the next one of these to come out. So I thought, fair enough. But then... Because I've been out of watching those uh, bridge series for so long, I didn't even realise what there was. L last time I watched them, it was there was there was Yu-Gi-Oh and there was Dragon Ball Z, and then there, there'd be loads of other ones that would get like one or two episodes and then they'd fall apart because they're really hard to make, honestly, particularly consistent consistently. Um, yeah, so I, I, I then started washing around. I watched the Log Horizon one because I like that series. And that turned out to be like five episodes long. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. And then on a comment of that, someone said, this is this is one of my favourite uh, Bridge series. It's up there with Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z. And then they said the One Piece one, which I think is called None Piece. So I was like, oh, there's a None Piece one. One Piece is fucking old and it's really long and it's ripe for a bridging because there's a lot of stuff in that. There's, there's all kinds of nonsense. And there's not really that many characters that stick around, so it, sh it should be quite easy to do. I feel like a sticker should be on this, but it doesn't, it just clips on now. So I started watching that, and that that had a rough shoddiness to me that made it feel like he, it, was, it was probably started a long time ago. And therefore there's a solid chance that if, if people are still talking about it now, there's a lot of episodes. So I, I was watching that. Then 10 episodes or so into that, it was like, yep, that's all we've made. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so that's that's where I've been at, watching that. And, uh, and then the other night, I had the brainwave of starting to watch South Park from the beginning. I, I watched South Park when it first came on TV, fucking years ago. Oh, that was it. Job done. Right, so somewhere in here must be some porgs because I've got pork heads. These are all the pieces left from this bag. And if I remember back rightly to many moons ago, uh, I made this, this had some mini kits, didn't it? I think I made Chewbacca. It always gives you the instructions in the mini, mini kit, uh, mini figs, roughly near the start. Because of all the bags, it's kind of hard to find them. Um, why couldn't this be written out like a proper manual where they have chapters at the bottom as well as page numbers? Ah, here we are, bag free. So, yeah, I should have C3PO. Oh, Christ. Well,. My hopes for the porgs have been dramatically diced because I now realise what they look like. <laughs> and it's uh, it's not great. That's not going in there. I don't want to force it. I feel like I must though. Yeah, so I've been watching South Park again from the start. Which I, I watched it when it first came out. But not, not like religiously, or probably because I was quite young, I didn't realise quite how religiously I'd watched it. So I'd probably seen every episode, but because I didn't set out to, I didn't realise. And then in hindsight, it's like, oh, you, ha you have seen them all. This isn't going to go in. This can't be right. Lego has such a high tolerance, it's never, never fails. Maybe I... The trouble is, I'm trying to get... Quite literally a round thing into a square thing, which is not easy. There we go. Get, lining it up's a tricky bit. Um, yeah. So, uh, like, I'm on season one. I'm watching that and I'm realising... Like, I've seen all the episodes. I don't really remember them all because I haven't seen them for goddamn ages. 
and I kind of I drift in and out of South Park because it's so hard to watch in this country because it it's on well, it's, it's on the channel Comedy Central but there's there's never any real build up to it and they'll like they'll start advertising it or well, I don't really watch TV anymore live so I don't know but it used to be they'd go like new South Park coming soon or whatever and it's like oh new South Park this Friday so like you'd get down and watch it you'd watch an episode but they'd show like There'd be one, one one week, then nothing for three weeks, then three in a row or two on one night. And it was, there was just so little consistency to it. It was incredibly hard to like keep up with. And you'd, you'd end up like just all over the place with it. And I, I like to watch it, you know, with an, with an air of consistency. It seems to me they didn't want to custom make any kind, any porgs. So this is what we got. I haven't watched, I only watched The Last Jedi once. I meant to see it again, but as is tradition, I got very ill around that time of year, I seem to recall. Or just very busy, and I couldn't see it more than once. It's the trouble when they release it at Christmas. Release it in the summer, and I've got bags of time. At Christmas, I'm busy. I feel like I put the wrong piece on its back, but it seems correct. Right, so these are the porgs. Um, yeah, they're not good. I don't fully remember what a porg looks like. I'm pretty sure it looks like a puffin. Um... So let's just, I'll put that aside. Maybe I'll like it later. And there's all the spare bits for this one, which can go in the mug. Definitely gonna need a new mug after this. This is, this is uh, pleasantly full of spare parts at this point. I, I quite like it. You may note that something subtle has changed about the uh, the set. So that's that, there used to be a trophy there, it's gone. Um, it was a trophy I won. Uh, had my name engraved on it. But you, uh, you, it's one where you, you keep it for a year and then you give it back and then whoever wins it the next time gets it engraved. So then after like 10 years, yeah, there's the 10 winners on it and you can you can look back. I'm on it twice now because I won it twice. Right, bag four. Now, I feel I'm gonna open it more over this way and reach to the things so I can keep this over here so that I can actually add on to it. I'm definitely gonna regret that though. Bag four also requires two of these. It's very important you get these early on because otherwise it won't ever tell you where they came from. I'm going to put the bigger bags over here and the smaller ones down here. I will come to regret this decision greatly. Probably because I think that's where I rest my arm, so they're going to get stuck to my arm and I'm going to drop them. I'm going to come out and say it. White people don't look good in Lego. There's something incredibly off-putting about just, just seeing the Lego head on its own. It's, it raises alarm bells. I already don't like having this here. I'm gonna put it just over here. Right. Actually look a bit more reasonable. I think bag three was like a, you know, a, an odd man out situation. There was there was sort of more in it than than all the rest. Don't base that on any fact or logic. It's more of a, more of a hope. No! I could see that coming. I I ripped the bag open. They were already pouring out before I'd gotten to a place to open them. That thing that fell off there. What? It was just a small stud which I'm pretty sure means I've got spares of them. That That's the sort of thing they give you spares of. Okay, I've, I've, I've basically managed to pick out nearly every single part of two minifigs here. Bar one. I'm missing a pair of legs. The legs are the hardest bit to find for some reason. I think it's because you think they look more distinctive than they actually are. If I know what color they are, that would help. They're white. Immediately saw them. Um, so we've got 
a Han Solo and a Leia Organa Smith. She, she remarried later on. Okay. Oh, oh, cheeky. There's two Leia heads. There's there's one head, but two paint jobs. There's there's standard, and there's uh, M Empire Strikes Back gas mask Leia, which. I'm going to go with because it makes her look like she's worried about the SARS epidemic. And I've also given her, I've given her Han Solo's hair because that makes her look like a power lesbian. I'm going to, going to change that back. I, I don't know if, if that statement was offensive or not because I um, lack the components necessary to feel empathy. Genuine talk though, I, I don't know if it's because because I'm a, a white English speaking male uh, aged 18 to 49 or if it's because I uh, I, I, I lack the uh, emotional availability. I don't really take offence in any case to, and I, I find it very hard to tell when other people are being offended by something. Um, I'm cautious not to offend anyone, but I really have no idea. It's my curse to bear. All right, so that was the minifigs done. That was the easy bit. The bit I now seem to have to make are, is, is am ladders. Ah, there we go, there's a ladder. And with it goes there's a real catharsis when you finish a bag, which is immediately undone when you immediately start a new bag. Um, slightly regret my decision, but you know, t time-wise, I am, I have, I have done this to myself. I am, I am nothing. I am the worm beneath you. Do as you please. I need a small bar. It looks exactly like the inanimate carbon rod from The Simpsons that keeps stealing Homer's accolades. Except it's grey. I think the one in that was... Was it grey? I want to say it was green, but I feel like that would be wrong because then it would look like something else. It's, this is what I need, but much shorter. Part of me had the idea of cutting this up to get it, but I, that seems to be against the Lego ethos. It's probably just over here somewhere. It's quite small, so it should be in a smalls bag. There it is. Found it. Okay. That's satisfying. All right, so I've made an emergency ladder and it clips on, well, what the, how does it go on? Oh, ah, earlier on in the build, I placed two spanners seemingly at random and now they come into play. There we go. Because that now it can, in theory, that could slide up and down. In, in practice, it's impractical. Now the annoying thing is it set, oh, two, two kind of I-beams. Um, yep. Where's the other one? I gotta be careful wearing t-shirts like this because it will re reveal certain aspects of my anatomy of which I'm not proud, or I am proud to a certain extent. Um, I don't work out a lot to stay in shape. I stay in shape by w working physically for a job and playing sport. Two sports I play a badminton, a racket focused sport that also involves running. You get a fair amount of cardio and a good arm workout. Frisbee, a lot of running, a lot of sprinting. Some, some amount of arm work depending on how much throwing you do. Um, note, I'm saying arm. It's one arm in particular. It's my right arm every single time Meaning my my right arm, forearm, bicep, certain elements of the shoulder and back muscles, that's less pronounced, quite noticeably larger than my left. Um, you can't tell because I'm I'm leaning with my left arm forward at all times to make to force perspective and make them look the same size, but but they 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 are they the right one is definitely more it's more tone, certainly. Um, it's way stronger as well. I was in an arm wrestling situation 
with someone who was left-handed they 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 were they were only left-handed they weren't um it, you know that they, they they were sort of equally strong across both hands but left-handed and it was like well which which one should we use first and i said well do you want, do you want to go left first as a, as the hustle and like it was clearly fairly even but he kind of had the upper hand so like it got pretty quick and he also did that thing where he kind of cheated where you know with arm wrestling when you're just doing it against some table somewhere you don't you don't really have the proper build up you just like one person will be lent across the table like, like that and one person will be right out and you know someone's always at an advantage and seating position wise uh so that so, so there was that. So he, so he won on those grounds. I'm not bitter. And then we swapped to the other arm, to my right arm, and we started. And he was clearly putting in like the same amount of effort. And I was like, oh, I should mention I'm much stronger in my right arm. And it was like, it was like an immediate like full overpowering. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a slam down, like a you know getting with the force. It was like just a just a slow controlled descent. Yeah. So it's not without its cons. So I put those two eyes in. Okay, good. All right. Now I can set that aside. The next, the next stage is, is building something vast. It looks like an engine. Um, just did that. But I heard a buzzing. I don't want any more fucking insect attacks in here. I mean, it's good for ratings, but my God, does it does it pain me? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago when I when I was assaulted by wasps in here, I went and got I've got one of those um like it looks like a tennis racket but it's electrified. It's for killing well it's for killing wasps is what it's for, but it's, I use it for killing flies as well. It's quite hard to use, but it's very fun. Um but no, it's it's easy for wasps, it's hard for flies because they are much quicker. I went and got that and and I, I swatted one I hit it well, I sort of tracked roughly where it went, and the thing is, it won't, it normally won't kill them in one hit, it will leave them quite stunned, and they'll either die after a few minutes, or they might stumble about, but I like to go and finish the job, because, you know, a, a dead wasp can still sting you, probably, no one really knows, no one's, no one's brave enough to test that, are they? Even the Mythbusters wouldn't, wouldn't touch that one. I went to go and kill it, when when I came, I can't remember the exact specifics of it. I, it was like I looked at it. And I was like, that wasn't the one that I found dead. Was neither of the two that were flying around. I was like, oh shit, there's there's more wasps. And as though like in a film on cue, they suddenly appeared, and it was it was a real fight for my life. Um, okay, so this goes in here. There's these these ones here, then a gap of three, and that's where it goes. It spins. It's it's nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So one thing about South Park that really flooded back to me that I didn't realise is well, one was like which characters were big in the first series, and it's kind of funny because you you never really see any of their parents, and they have no real character to start with. Um, but for some reason, when I was younger, I was always a fan of Kenny. He was my favourite character. I don't know why. Maybe it was because he didn't speak and I found that funny. Or that or that he, he spoke and you couldn't understand him and that was the whole joke. But obviously, early on, the whole shtick with him was that he would die like, every episode and inexplicably come back. Or not, sometimes. But they... Uh... <laughs> but it... it... When I was younger, I, I always used to get annoyed by that because you never know when he was going to die. It was, ne it was never like at the same point. Sometimes it was really early in an episode. Sometimes it was right at the end. So it was always like in, a, in an episode, if he died early on, I'd be like, oh, Kenny's already dead. Or, uh, or it'd be late on, I'd be like, yeah, Kenny's still alive. And then, then early on, there was one episode where they didn't kill him. Might have been the Christmas episode. It was like, yay, Kenny survived. Favourite character. Two bits of TV news. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Rick and Morty got 
got renewed for 70 more episodes, which I don't know exactly how that works. Is it one season of 70 episodes? Is it 10 seasons or, well, 11 and a half seasons of 70 episodes? It's hard to tell. Well, it will more likely be a few seasons of, of probably less, more than six episodes long. I don't know. It's exciting though. And then immediately after that, Brooklyn Nine-Nine got cancelled, which, which sucked because that show was brilliant. Fortunately, though, I have still got a whole season of it I haven't seen, the most current season, so I've got that. I suspect, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it got picked up by, by, uh, by like Netflix or Hulu or something. There's, there's already sort of rumours of it. Although it seems like it's quite an expensive show to produce. It's got that air of, of expense to it. And there's always the risk that Andy Samberg might just disappear and dominate another form of media. You never know with him. Well, I think Popstar was a bit of a bust. I, only based on the fact that music comedy films never do well for some reason. New Tenacious D film coming out. That was, that was almost a proper segue. A lot of stuff has been connected to this, and I'm not convinced any of it's correct, but they live and die by convictions. So that goes on there, the space into that. Perfect. Behold the symbol. Um, right, so this, no, three, so hang on. Four across, which is one of it's one of these. All right. It's the hardest part of 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 doing this is when they they give you a piece and it'll it'll be like a large grey piece and you really have to kind of study them to see which one of these it could be. Uh, but by study, I mean you have to count. It's not it's not actually that hard now that I think about it. It's it's about as easy as it gets, really. A, a four-year-old could do it. Actually, I don't know how smart four-year-olds are. I, I, I may be giving them too much or too little credit. I be, See, I was basing things on, on like other children I knew on rough ages, but now I have a nephew who's... How old is he? Who's two. He's, he's over two. He's on the way to three. Or is he three and on the way to four? No, he must be two. Because I've avoided giving him two birthday presents. <laughs> yeah, because when you're one, you were zero before that. Yep, yeah, that adds up. So he's, he's two now. And I, I'm comparing him to other two-year-olds I have known in the past. I'm like, he seems a bit slow, you know? <laughs> Without meaning being harsh. But then I think, well, may, maybe like... Maybe the parents of those other two-year-olds are very chatty, so they learn to talk quicker, but they're not so good with, I don't know, playing Minecraft. I, I don't know kids, I don't know parenting. What is going on with this? There's a lot, there's a lot happening. There's these pieces that keep throwing me off as well, they look confusing. Just need some little sort of squares. Don't appear to be here, there's one, but I definitely need about five. One of you, two of you. I hate these bricks, the square ones with, with like little round bits coming out of them. For some reason, I hate them. Okay. Right, push that in there. So that goes on the end. And that goes also in there. It still really doesn't feel like anything. I, I suppose this is all this is all based on the fact that the Millennium Falcon sits on legs, so there's no flat basing to build anything on. So everything has to attach to the framework, which must design wise, I presume was probably a pain in the ass. Alright, and now for something different. Two of them. And you. Big old you, little old you, and oh, I see. It's not something different at all. Actually, 
I'm just putting loads of flat bases on this. Um, yep, is that good? How does that? Evenly? Yeah, probably. Yeah, put you on there. So I've got this thing awkwardly socially where I don't. I don't ever really treat anyone like they're fresh and I've just met them. Equally, I don't I don't develop people into, you know, real good friends particularly. I keep everyone in the middle zone. Uh, meaning every now and again, I'll, I'll meet someone and be like friendly with them. And then, then I'll think, wait, do I actually know you? Like, who are you? <laughs> I, I think it would, it would best be described as how you can be friends with a neighbour. Um, this is wrong. This is a mirror image of what I actually need. But you know how you can... Uh, you, you could see your neighbour every day. You could speak to them. You could know certain elements of their, their life. For example, pets, if they have children, a wife. But you may never know what they do for a job. And you're like, you could be 10 years into a relationship or let's be less, less than that. You, you could know them for like say six months and just ne it could never come up. Which is how men make friends. You, <laughs> yeah, I spoke to him for six hours last night. Oh, how's, how's his wife? Has she still got cancer? I, I don't know, it didn't come up. Oh, what about his new job? He has a job? Didn't, didn't even know. What the hell did you talk about? You know, guy stuff. Right. Well, where the fuck does this go? In fact, I've just I've skipped about eight steps. That's why that's so confusing. Well, not eight steps. I just, I thought it was saying flip it over and put this one piece on, but it's actually describing many pieces. The lesser known brother of many faces. That wouldn't make sense. They wouldn't share the same first name. Unless they use like a Japanese naming system, that could work. Keep up, we're talking about He-Man now. Alright, so two of them, one of them, one of them. I got a wedding invite the other day from a friend, not from a stranger, that'd be weird. Which is fine. Uh, saying, you know, you know it's, here's the address, here's the time, you know. Don't worry about gifts if you don't, or if you know you don't have to, but if you want to, here's here's your options, that sort of thing. Uh, music, food, you know, the the basics of of event invitations. And then it gave the dress code. Summer casual. I I very nearly was gonna say no, I can't make it, based purely on the fact that I don't know what summer casual is. I don't. I don't know what anything casual is attached to to anything. I know what formal is. I know what business formal is. I know what black tie means. It generally means a black tie. Summer casual, though. I I saw that and I was like, what, 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 what? What do I do with that info? I Googled it. I, I Googled summer, summer casual to see, you know, what other men had decided that this would mean. Because that's the only way you can figure these things out, based on the assumptions of better men. You, you Google it, you create a mood board from like summer casual down to winter formal, and you just pick a point on that scale of what, of where you're gonna go. Because even when I Googled it, there were, there was like there were people in like shirt and tie with trousers. Okay, yeah, I could see that. And there were people like short slurt, short slurt, short shirt, short sleeve shirt, button down trousers sometimes fancier shorts all right and then you get a guy wearing a blazer i'm like this is just anything this is just what does this mean so what you do in that situation is you wear a three-piece suit and then you bring shorts and a t-shirt and then just just change at some point in the day like when no one's no you just change you you, you assume you're going to be hot and uncomfortable to start with then out of nowhere you change and everyone's secretly jealous. That's that's what you do. That's what I've decided. Uh, I'm not going to do that though. If, if you aren't watching. Okay. 
Right, so now we're adding gray to everything. Shaved the other day, finally got to that point. Every now and again, I, I accidentally get lazy and it appears that I'm growing a beard, but all it is is just I haven't shaved for a while. And then, you know, suddenly three weeks have gone by and you've forgotten to shave. Um, so that, you know, I, I don't need to for like work or anything. So it's not really, it's just, it's just as and when I can be asked. Meaning that I was very, very bearded for a while. And you look a scruffy bastard. Then when you shave it, like from from V up to here, I'm very, very, very pale. <laughs> All right, so I need more gray. Okay, there we go, they found themselves. I was gonna say they didn't exist, but turn out they, they did. The greatest mystery ever solved. I feel like all those blue spinning bits and everything, entirely pointless now though. Like all the framework that's sandwiched between this, I don't really know what purpose, if any, it serves. I'd actually like a director's commentary on this, on this, uh, on these instructions I'm following, just so they could set, they, there'd be little notes and such saying, yeah, it may seem like you didn't need any of this, but actually it serves a very important purpose. And this is it. But that doesn't exist. In fact, I'm almost certain you, you could probably take a Lego tour or, or somewhere that information's available. Possibly. It's hard to say, because you'd think they might not want to reveal it, because it, it's sort of trade secrets. But at the same time, is anyone really competing with Lego in, in what they do? They've kind of got it sewn up, haven't they? they? They patented all the ways you could ever make bricks. That's a bit of Lego trivia I'm aware of. So no, no one else could really ever do it. They own all the licenses now. It's kind of, it's kind of win-win for them. They, they sort of own a bit of a monopoly. I suppose Funko Pops are sort of coming into it, but they're, they're awful. I fucking hate them. Have we got any on display? No, I don't think so. And then you have like other model stuff, but it's just not as good, is it? There's a trade-off with, with modeling kits, and there? there's, there's ones that are too heavily do-it-yourself, so they don't look that good at the end. Or you can go the other way of it, and they'll be too, uh, they'll, they'll be like too little to do. So you're just clipping bits to bits, and it's it ends up being sort of too rigid. Ooh. Right, that's the timer done, which I believe I set for an hour and eight minutes, because I wanted it to set to set it for an hour, but I was too lazy to take off the eight minute timer that I already had on there, and thus combine the two. Um, I picked this up, and I don't need it. I actually need a square. I'm going to finish the page I'm on and then and that'll do for today. That will go up to now that'll push us over to number 260 for those of you following along at home in the most awful build your own thing you could ever do. God, that'd be excruciating if you Oh my god, if you were building this and this was how you had to get your instructions by following this video. That would be That'd be a horrendous challenge. I'm almost tempted to make that a reality just so I, like, it'd be like, it'd be like Ready Player One. It'd be like an impossible series of clues to follow where you'd have to get so far in my mind. You'd, you'd go insane from the doldrums, honestly. This is nice. Just putting stuff on a fairly flat uh, f field of influence. I'm worried because I've definitely made a mistake here because this doesn't seem like it's going to fit. Although I may have spoken too soon because it actually all appears to fit perfectly. Okay, nice. I'll leave that on there for next time, thus reminding me of where I'm at because I did that before and it kind of worked. <gasps> There's a green piece. Not the organization, there's actually a little green square piece. It's so pretty, I must eat it. But it <gasps> there's two, meaning they give me a spare one. There's three, meaning that I probably need two and there's one spare one, meaning I can use that for something in the future. 
and a revolver barrel. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Join me next time for more of, of uh, bag four. I can reveal that at some points I will be making a galley way. So that'll be fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.